Before we get started, we are working with dangerous equipment and for your own sake, if you're scared to use the machine, please don't use it at all. While the machine has got a lot of safety features, there are still possibilities to be in an accident. First rule is to never stand directly behind or in front of the machine. It can send wood with great speed flying towards you. And watch out for your clothes as well. When using the machine, make sure to wear protective gear. Don't leave any stuff just lying on top of the machine. And people, we know work can be tiring, but please don't use the machine as a beer pong table. Lastly, before use, make sure the bed is nice and square and please don't lose your hand. Okay, now on with the video. When using the jointer, guide the wood by hand and glide smoothly over the shroud. The wood is always pushed against the rotation of the blade, even when planing. Use multiple passes to cut down the wood, but you should only take 2 or 3 mm off at once. Also, make sure to readjust the shroud because the wood gets thinner with each pass. To increase or decrease the depth of the cut, you can undo the bolt at the front of the machine and lower the front bed. You might want to do this to increase your production speed. When jointing the shorter edge, lower the guide and press it against the side with the guide to hold it. Now guide the wood again by hand, but pay attention to the placement. Always rest your thumbs on the top and press with your index finger. The jointer is used for making the wood square. Now to machine it to the right thickness, we transform the machine into a planer. You do this by first taking off the rail and guide at the top. Undo the handles below the bed and fold the bed out and away. And please make sure the machine is not running. Place the dust shroud above the blades to cover it up and that's it. Now dial in the correct height and it should be good to go. When you insert the wood into the machine, use a bit of force to pass through the kickback preventing notches. One tip, always plane the short side first for the most stable operation. Because if it becomes too narrow, it can wobble and ruin the wood. You can also use a friend to hand the wood back to you at the beginning of the planer. This speeds up the work and is more fun. And there you have it, a beautiful piece of wood. Bye!